Welcome back to BJP Lifestyle, guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. If you're new here, make sure you click the subscribe button down below right now to be notified when new videos go live. We have new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. here on the channel. And of course, check out Shop Lifestyle. Get yourself some lifestyle merch. And yeah, if you guys remember, uh, one of my biggest videos, I'll pop it up on the screen right here, uh, where I was talking about the hidden features of the Jeep Grand Cherokee or the things they don't want you to know, which has like almost 300,000 views or something like that right now, um, which probably a lot of you guys subscribe to the channel from that video. And uh, if you did subscribe from that video, then uh, I appreciate it. And you guys have been around for a while then because that video is kind of old but you guys might remember this clip from there where i tried to unlock and put the windows down from the remote and it just yeah let's just run the clip so i'm not sure if this one works but it says you can roll down the windows it says you're supposed to unlock the car and then hold down the button for like two seconds or something but it doesn't uh, it doesn't appear to work today we're actually going to be able to enable that feature and unlock a lot of the hidden features of the jeep now um i did purchase this used from a uh from a subscriber rather than just buying it new so we are going to have a little bit of extra steps of having to unmarry the key uh or unmarry it from our from their jeep to my jeep so uh, i'll show you the process of that if you guys are going into that similar situation where you bought one used um but it's just going to be the taser so um a lot of people have used these um, I know a lot of people recommend them and stuff it's, it kind of just gives you some extra features you can get SRT pages stuff like that um, I'll probably do a full install video here and go through a little bit of the features and then in a future video I'll go through all the different features and kind of go over everything you can do with it uh, but yeah so you have this little bypass piece if you have a 2018 and up you're gonna need to do the little double bypass so we'll show you how to install that here in a minute and then also we have just the simple if I can get it out of the packaging here just a simple OBD port taser that you can see here which is gonna go into our uh, OBD port down there so it's a fairly simple install for me to do i assume i hope <laughs> like i said with having to unmarry it it's a little bit extra than just being able to just plug it right in and marry it to this car so i have to unmarry it i have to buy a key but i'll show you guys the whole process of that so the first thing is going to be to install this little guy here uh, which is going to be on the passenger side so we're going to go ahead and hop over there and just start getting right to it because uh, it looks like it's gonna rain. I hope it doesn't but uh, yeah We're just gonna go over to the passenger side and just start installing this because like I said it, it should be quick uh, But then again is anything ever quick with this car or any cars? I I don't know All right, so for this part of the install here We're just literally going underneath the glove box over here So there's this kind of panel here, which is just held on by some clips I believe that we have to just pull off um, You can see that this is where the light is that we installed in another video If you haven't seen that video, you can go ahead and check it out and I believe it's gonna be over here behind this like kick panel uh, over here so i'm going to set up the camera and uh go through this and show you guys how to do it but yeah this should just rip right down uh but we'll see you know nothing ever kind of goes right so but yeah that's what we're supposed to be doing we'll see if it actually works that way so let me set up the camera and get to it If you guys are stupid like me, you're going to think that you have to disconnect this whole panel and stuff like that. You, you don't, this, this connector is a pain, especially uh, the small one right here. I don't know how to get it off, but uh, yeah, you don't have to disconnect this. It's actually like, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see the wires hanging right here. Um, it's like up here. It's like right here. So like right where your hand is, right where my hand's going, it's right here. So you don't have to like peel this back or do anything like that. It's literally just right here. Um, and then we just have these two wires here that we unplugged. They just have one little clip at the top that you have to press in and then pull them out. Uh, and then these are gonna plug into that little thing. So let me show you that. And uh, yeah, then we'll be on our way. All right, so now once we have our little taser piece here, which is our bypass, it's just gonna plug these wires into it. So there's two different slots, obviously, different sizes. So I just plug them right on in, make sure they click so they don't fall out. Um, yeah, and you're just gonna plug these two in. They'll, they have their own spots, obviously and they click in just like that. Hopefully you guys can see, we move it up. You see there, they both just plug in like this and then we're just gonna tuck this behind over here so that it's not rattling and bopping around back here while we're driving because rattling noises drive me nuts personally. So I'm just gonna tuck this up nicely over here somewhere and then yeah, we'll be uh, on our way with the taser install. All right, so everything's kind of buttoned up over here. I mean, I, I don't know what's going on with this panel. I think when I bought this thing, I think I got scammed because, because like this panel, like the way that this panel sits and stuff just doesn't seem right. And it was like this on the other side too. And the way that this panel is, it's like not in there all the way. Like I'll probably have to remove this and fix it one day. But for now, I think that's, uh, you know, good enough. It's in there, it's plugged in, it's set. So now let's go to the other side and mess with the actual taser module. All right, so we're at about a week later now from when I had installed that little piece in the passenger side that you guys just watched. Uh, yeah, so it's like a week later. I actually had to send the, the thing out since I bought it used. I had to send it out and have them fix it. 
Uh, the other way that I normally would have done it didn't work. So I sent it out to them and it is here and it's all set. So now it's time to unlock some features of the Jeep. Now, I believe we just have to plug it in and set this to run with the little taser plugged in and just set it to run without our foot on the brake. So let me do that now. All right, I think you guys can kind of see there. So then we're gonna do left arrow cancel. I believe that's all we pressed. All right, and then I think it's just the set button or the cruise on button here in the middle. Uh, maybe not. Okay, so it's marrying it now, which is gonna marry to my actual Jeep itself where uh, that was the issue before is that it was married to another Jeep. So I had to solve that and uh, it's pretty easy to do. I'd, I'd say, I mean, you just send it in and they can do it or I, apparently there's another way, but I think it has to be unmarried and stuff. But now it says married. So now we should be able to access all the other features here. All right, now let's go into the sub menu for comfort again, because apparently there's supposed to be the ability to lower the windows, which as you guys might remember, I made a video and I said that uh, you should be able to do it and it didn't work and that's one of my biggest videos so remote window here windows from key fob so if we enable that with yes now when we go through all right now that I reset that it's supposed to be working we got the key here it's supposed to be unlock and then hold for like six seconds as you can see here it worked um, all right so let me try again here so all you do is you press unlock once and then hold it down for the amount of time that it takes for them to go down so you just keep holding it down and would you look at that the windows are down which is a cool little feature um, that you can't have enabled unless you use the taser so that's pretty cool i guess a little bonus feature that you guys can get now you're also supposed to be able to put the windows back up by tapping the lock button six times so one two three four five six and look at that they do go back up so it's a little bit annoying with the beeps and stuff but the windows do go back up which is uh I guess a pretty cool fancy little feature that you guys can add to your Jeeps with the taser. All right, so now the live settings is where we're gonna be able to mess with some other stuff and to do that, obviously foot on the brake, actually start the car. We just had it in the run mode, so the car wasn't actually on. Now we're gonna go ahead and enter them while the live settings are on. And this is where there's gonna be other settings like dark mode, which will turn off all your lights, um, different things like these little brake things, in motion navigation. Uh, engine mode so you can set it to sport mode all the time uh, there's a bunch of different features that you can do with that but we're gonna go ahead and go into here power mode auto auto sport which would turn it uh, sport mode on automatically track SS kill on so, so that's one thing we want to have on is the SS kill which is the start stop so I believe that's gonna just disable it all the time as soon as we get in the car now. So uh, let's go ahead and see what else we have. Auto fold mirrors, if you had folding mirrors, mine aren't. All wheel drive normal, you can do that. You'll have your zero to 30 uh, timer on here, as well as your zero to 60. So these are live. Um, you can only use these if it's plugged in while you're, the car's on, obviously. So uh, yeah, there's, there's some of the different features. There's a bunch of other stuff that I'm not gonna go into in this video. I'll do a really in-depth video if you guys wanna see that where I'll go through every single setting and explain what it does. But there's just there's just too much to go through for you guys to uh, see it all in one video. So that's pretty much all that we're gonna enable with that, and that's gonna let us disable the start stop, which is cool. So that's gonna be about it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure you smash that like button down below. Let me know that you guys enjoyed it in the comment section, and any features that you guys use on the taser. If you have one, if you like it, don't like it, had one, or gonna get one, different stuff like that. Let me know um, because I've wanted one for a bit because they have some different interesting things you can do. I'm gonna play with it a lot more. Like I said, I'll do another video in the future where I go through every single feature and explain what it does how to use it why it's there all that kind of stuff but for this video it's just mainly the purpose of installing it so, so yeah make sure you smash that like button down below of course subscribe if you're not already subscribed we have new videos every monday wednesday and friday at 3 p.m here on the channel and of course check out shop lifestyle get yourself some lifestyle merch but thanks for watching guys peace I feel like I am losing control, cause it feels